Hey, what is up, ladies and gentlemen? It is your boy, Johnny, and today we have some new Pokemon news. Believe it or not, 15 minutes or 14 minutes of a new trailer for the Pokemon Scarlet Violet games that are coming out. And we're just going to go over the whole trailer and see what's interesting. Um, but they show a lot of gameplay footage, which I was really excited for. Everyone, it's almost time to begin your journeys in the Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet games. Are you ready? You'll get to catch Pokemon, raise them, and battle them as you embark on an adventure where the familiar charms of the po Well, that's pretty awesome. They're actually showing some animations on how trading is going to be. Like they said that you can invite your friends over to your world. Okay. And it on looks like it's in the middle of the area. And as well as you can see, he's riding his Pokemon. And what is that Pokemon right there? I really don't think they actually have announced that Pokemon yet. Into a new experience. So that's a brand new Pokemon. As a student at an academy. So, I don't know, but that was actually a pretty cool thing. Um, the graphics in the sky look way better in this trailer. It looks like they're going to be doing cycling through the day and night. I mean, po previous Pokemon games had it, but it looks really amazing here. In the Paldea region, you'll take part in an independent study program called the Treasure Hunt. And you'll search this vast world for a precious treasure of your very own. Treasure hey, Hunt? at this point, you probably knew all that already, right? Probably Here's Pokemon something we hunt. hope even you well-informed viewers will enjoy. A sneak peek at four particular trainers' journeys in Paldea. So there might be different trainer classes, or w what do they mean by that? Now, let the adventures begin! This trainer is battling a Pokémon called Lechonk. Lechonk is a gourmand. It's proud of its nose, Lechonk. which it uses to sniff out delicious food. So that looks like a real in-time battle system. I think it's only going to look like that in certain areas. Oh, look! Quaxly terastalized. Terastalized as well, showing a little bit of it. Terastalizing is a phenomenon unique to the Paldea region, but all Pokemon can do it. It adds extra punch to moves of the Pokemon's territory. Aqua Jet. So it looks pretty cool. Every Pokemon is going to be able to do that as well. They're showing a little bit of the desert What's area. That over there? Is that a glowing Pokemon? It seems to be a Jigglypuff. But a why Jigglypuff? is it shining so bright? Is that because the shiny? Better approach it slowly and start a battle. Is that the overworld shiny or what? No. Whoa, a wild terror Pokemon. Looks like this Jigglypuff has the water type for its terror type. Apparently, these sparkly wild Pokemon will terastalize in battle. Kind of like the raids. Not exactly, but pretty cool. And I think you can capture them as well, so that's pretty awesome. This Jigglypuff seems pretty tough, but Quaxley's strong too. Dealing enough damage to a wild Terra Pokemon causes its terastalization to come undone. Oh, so you can just capture it like that? No! Okay, I see. Throw a Pokeball! Kind of be like unique Pokemon that you get to capture in the wild. Nice! The wild Jigglypuff was caught! Some Pokemon. Whoa, let's go ahead and pause this. This looks like the inventory. As you guys can see, normal fairy and water type as a Terra type. So that's pretty cool. The Terra types uh, might be for each Pokemon then. It's basically adding another type of typing to your Pokemon when you, and of course, you terrestrialize. Our original trainer, Haruto, and then the XP and the markings, kind of similar to Sword and Shield. And then you show your six party here. We got the Pokemon on the side as well that uh, we haven't really know what the one in the middle is. Uh, so that's interesting. But we got their artwork. Like this Jigglypuff, have a Terra type completely different from their regular type. Any Pokemon is capable of having any of the 18 different types as its Terra type. What's this? Quaxley's out there in the world, charging straight toward that Litleo. Looks That's like Quaxley cool. battled Litleo on its... So, uh, this kind of makes it easier for Litleo Tuft. You get an item, I believe. So, this is like overworld battles automatically. I like how they updated the map. Um, 
this will be easier for leveling up, I guess. Kind of reminds me of Mystery Dungeon or something. Its own and won. That's because the trainer gave Quaxley the Let's Go command. Using Let's Go will send your lead Pokemon out onto the field. I can already see people complaining about this of uh, their lead Pokemon just doing quick battles, but you know, I kind of like it. Um, it will help a lot when leveling up. Uh, but I can already see some people complaining about, oh, it's too quick of a level up. To battle. Kind of similar to what Legends Arceus had, uh, but instead over there you were capturing them with the Pokeballs and doing research on them. It's kind of like that. If a Pokemon gets sent out toward an item, it'll go pick it up. Oh, so that's pretty cool. Um... As you guys can see, TMs will be able to be found in the wild again. Items. I don't know if there will be unlimited TMs or just limited amount of items like uh, they usually do with randomizing. Just like Quaxly here. What a useful command for searching your surroundings. These Pokemon are so helpful, giving their all for their partner. Next, the trainer opens his map to see wow, where... Wow, the map looks pretty cool. You got your trainer card, your map, your compass, and some other stuff. ...wants to go. You can set a place as your destination. Set a destination. Keep yourself on track as you go. Definitely makes it then look a little bit more open Then we can hop atop the world. legendary Pokemon Miraidon and get going. And Miraidon what looks cool. It's a base belonging to Team Star, the school troublemakers. Starfall Street, one of the three major stories that will make up your Paldean adventures, will Not unfold lie, in bases like this one. That looks actually pretty cool. Time to face Team Star. Our trainer rang the bell and barged into the base. That takes some guts. But things look bad. There are lots of grunts around, and they keep wow. sending out Pokemon. So yeah, it definitely feels different. The, the automatic we'll need battles. To use Let's go to defeat Team Star's Pokemon. Triple battles. There we go. All the grunts have been defeated at last. But wait, is that some kind of tricked out car? That does look pretty it cool. Is. And atop it is Mela. And I'm assuming that's going to be like the final battle. She's obviously tough. You'll probably have a proper a Pokemon battle. Time for these trained up Pokemon to battle. You'll have to wait for your own adventure to see how a battle like this plays out. Now, let's check in on another train. So, I think this is going to be the Pokemon Center, the portable ones. And How's her adventure going? Uh-huh. make TM? She's using the... As you guys can see, it's craftables as well. Okay, that's pretty cool. Craftable TMs. Um... And I'm assuming the stuff that you get in battles in the in the wild, like we saw earlier, uh, give you like a fang, and then it'll allow you to craft different TMs, and as well as league points. I don't know what that is all about. TM machine at a Pokemon Center. The TM machine lets you make your with berries as well as you guys can see the resources that they have there. You can use berries as well. Own TMs, also known as technical machines. Snow and threads, Nover, berries. Machines, using materials Pokemon drop when you defeat or catch them. Not a bad system, I guess. Still kind of prefer just getting b now, able to buy them. Now, where will she go next? Elite points, I'm Seems assuming Seems to be a desert-like area under a blazing sun. Just wow, we got a new crab Pokemon, as you guys can see in the background. I don't know. We got a new crab Pokemon. Looking at it is enough to make you thirsty. Oh, her Rotom phone is ringing. Sounds like Arvin, her friend in the next grade up, needs some help. So that's pretty cool. To give Arvin a hand, the trainer's headed to a rock face where a titan lurks. This is one of the stops on the Path of Legend, a story where you'll seek out legendary herbs called Herba Path Mystica. Path of Legends. There it is, a gigantic titan Pokemon. Time to battle. A Titan Pokemon Claw? Right off the bat, there's Icy Wind, the move our trainer taught Drifloon earlier. I wonder if Icy you can Wind actually capture it. Icy Wind lowered the Titan Claw's speed stat. Drifloon terastalized to become a Grass type. This is Terra Blast, a new move that changes type to match the user's Terra type when the user is terastalized. It ought to be handy for a Pokemon with a Terra type different from its regular types. 
Looks like Cloth suddenly got somewhere else. I wonder if they're going to use that in competitive where you can change your type. What's our trainer doing? Wow, okay, so it looks like we're getting some price trade and link trades again. Union Circle Terror Ride Battles and Miss You Griff and Battle Stadium. Battle Stadium looks interesting. And Terror Ride and Union Circle. So link trades are coming back then. You already guys know that's coming back. Now of all times. Looks like she's taking a little break from adventuring to trade Pokemon with a friend. And over here, her trade partner has received Girafferig. Seems like she immediately added Girafferig to her team, and she's gonna let it run around in the field and train up for some battles. So yeah, looks like trading is back, the same as it's always been. Wonder if it's gonna be a link code or, or a little bit different where you have to add friend codes? I don't know, it looks a little bit weird. Oh, could Girafferig be evolving? Hang on. Did its Whoa. tail New its evolution. Head? Or is its head wearing its tail? What an unexpected evolution. Seems like Girafferig has evolved into fur. Yo, let's go back a little bit. Unexpected evolution. The Pokedex looks like it's been revised completely. It really does look nice. So we look like we're going to have Eevee, Aubryon, and new evolution. So that's basically a new one as well. Seems like Girafferig has evolved into Ferrigrath. Long neck Pokemon. In the Paldea region's Pokedex, you can see photos of Pokemon as well as information about them. So you can get to know them even better. Dope. Really awesome. Let's check out the town of Artisan next. It looks like one big park. Now that the trainer's Pokemon have gotten stronger, it seems she's made her way to a gym. She's following Victory Road, the story where you'll conquer all eight gyms to achieve champion rank. Nimona, the battle-loving trainer who'll show you the ropes, is all fired up. Before so the, you can battle a gym these leader, are the gyms, you'll first I guess? have to pass the gym test at their gym. Well, I'm all for that. Right they away. have little gym challenges that you can do. All right, that's the gym test passed. Time and to you battle, can the, battle gym the gym leader. leader. Here comes Gracias, the grass type gym leader with a Gracias. striking entry. Another new Pokemon, Sudowoodle will be back, and that little fluffy Pokemon as well. Whoa! Sudowoodle terastalized and became a grass type. Are you gonna be okay, Fido? Feed Fido? How's Fido. your trainer gonna handle this one? Looks really, really cool. Aha, I like it. It's a fairy type as well. Having her own Pokemon terastalize. That Fido Pokemon does look cool though. Fido became a flying type. That should give a it flying a type. Against this grass type pseudo I don't know. This terastalize no thing does look kind of OP. They give you a move and they fear. let you change your I typing. Wait to see how battles will on Pokemon that normally Pokemon. can't really change the typing. Well, I'm glad they brought the cities back. A hair salon to so that's pretty awesome. Up. We get customization again. A lot of haircuts. Wow, look at all these options. How are you supposed to choose? Huh. I kind of want to try that hairstyle too. And now to complete the look. Plenty to choose from here too. Eyelashes. I feel like I could spend all eye day shapes on this. and everything. Looks like they and brought more customization to it a lot. Styles, Even you a can camera. Whip out the camera app and go snap, snap, snap. Looks like this trainer found the perfect style. Line up a good shot and snap. Now they've That's updated cool. their profile picture. I wonder if you can save them onto Looking your Switch, Looking back on though. photos you've taken of scenic vistas or memorable moments with beloved Pokemon is just one more way to enjoy your adventure. And now it's picnic time Picnics. with Pokemon. When Pokemon have gotten dirty from a long journey, a nice scrub and shower gets them all clean. I guess that's going like to help with the friendship nice as well. Before having lunch, Pokemon can get out some energy by playing with a ball. You can just tell how much fun they're having. I guess it's like oh, a wow. rest area as Could well. Could this be a Pokemon egg? 
Apparently, eggs Is can this how you're gonna be found during picnics. You're not gonna need to go to a Pokemon now, Center. Moment we've been waiting I for. mean, to a Pokemon Sandwich Nursery. Time. You just this breed eggs on there in the plenty camps. Plenty of ingredients they bought in town. It can be tough deciding which sandwich. Cooking to Mama make. Pokemon. This one may be a little overstuffed. It might not hold together. It does look pretty cool though. Just gotta put the bread on top. Finally, and something it that they're the actually pick. utilizing the touchscreen, I would say, or probably Fun. even a touchscreen. But that's Let's pretty see cool. How it tastes. I'm always for mm. these little mini games, even oh, though they're kind of looks like it's a hit with everyone. Whack. Eating sandwiches can give you benefits, like making certain types of Pokemon easier to catch, or making your Pokemon gain more experience. But it's actually points. good for Time you, for though. A group photo it helps your Pokemon. With these satisfied Pokemon. As well. Where to go next? Oh hey, looks like more of our trainer friends have shown up. All right, they're gonna take on a Terra Raid battle. Can these trainers work together to defeat the Terra, Terra Raid Pokemon battles. before time All right, out? so it looks like they are going to be using the link codes because you saw there there was a link code, link code there. So you saw there was Their a link code there as well. That's terrestrialized into a ghost type. What kind of fight will the strong, sparkling Chansey put so up? So yeah, it is going to be similar to Sword and Shield there. In terms of link traits and stuff like that. So honestly, it's when really all this footage just came the out, and they're giving out a really... Back. They're giving out how the game is going to be completely. I think that's pretty much the main core mechanics of the game. If your Pokemon gets knocked out in a I mean, they're really showing battle, us a lot of footage. Worry. I mean, the game is only... Is it next month it that's coming out? Yeah, it's next month fray. that's coming out, so... They're just giving Hang us in there, a lot of information now. Along with using your Pokemon's moves, you also have the option to support your allies by cheering. It's all about teamwork. Watch how the battle's going and decide how you'll handle the fight and work with your fellow trainers. Almost there. Keep it up. So yeah, these kind of just remind me of raid battles, just a oh, little bit wow. different. That was a beautiful Terra raid battle victory, and with it comes the chance to catch this Terra Pokemon. You capture the Pokemon when you join well. forces to win your battles. The bonds between kind of like the regular raid shine even brighter. It's a little bit different. Wonder if they're gonna allow Gigantamax back in this game. I doubt it. All right. That Chansey with a rare Terra type is now part of the team. So, what'd you think? While you were getting a look at these four trainers' journeys, did you spot a glimmer of something that could become your personal treasure? Encounters with Titan Pokemon? Face-offs with Team Star? Taking on gyms? There's plenty more to be said about all these things, of course. What you just saw was only a glimpse of the adventures awaiting you in the Paldea region. Which Pokemon will you choose? Who will you meet? What sort of exciting adventures will you have? It's all up to you. Your adventures are right around the corner. Really cool. May they shine bright. It will come out on the 18th and you can do pre-orders now. So I think that's pretty cool, guys, that they're actually uh, giving more footage. I think this gave me more like con uh, a look into the game and how it's going to be overall. And it does look promising as well. Let me know, guys, what you guys think in the comment section about this. Thank you for watching this video. Make sure to hit the like button and subscribe.